They stand as welcoming beacons, both a nod to the maritime past of Martha's Vineyard and now a favored backdrop for family pictures and selfies. The five lighthouses of the vineyard have become iconic island images, from Egertown Harbor to East and West Chop on Vineyard Haven Harbor to the cliffs of Aquina. Hi, I'm Guinevere Kramer with Point B Realty. Not only do vineyard lighthouses make the perfect photo backdrop, but most of them are open for tours during summer and into early fall. And all well, the views from up here, they're simply spectacular. For sheer grandeur, it's hard to beat the Gayhead Lighthouse perched above the colorful cliffs of Aquina and now settled into its new secure home after being moved back more than 130 feet from the cliffs, the red brick lighthouse is a sight to behold. Not only is it the oldest lighthouse on the vineyard, but it's also the only one made out of brick. And an interesting footnote, the bricks are made with clay from the nearby cliffs. I love bringing people to the Gay Head Lighthouse. You have two levels to explore. You can either come out on the deck level, which of course does have a railing, or you can head up one more flight of stairs to the very top where the actual rotating red and white light is located. From either level, the views are incredible and you can easily look out 360 degrees, either out to the waters of Vineyard Sound and some of the surrounding islands, even Buzzards Bay and Cape Cod, or you can look up and down the coasts of the vineyard. So whether you come here to the far western edge of the island in Aquina, or choose to enjoy the convenience of an in-town visit in Edgartown with its majestic views of the harbor and Chappie, the lighthouses of Martha's Vineyard are magical. They embody past and present, and they belong on everyone's vineyard bucket list. For Point B Realty, I'm Guinevere Kramer.